In today's video, I'll be showing you how to hopefully resolve error code 260 when trying to play Roblox. If you keep getting disconnected from the games within Roblox with this frustrating error code, then don't worry because like I said, there's a few things that you can do which will hopefully resolve this issue within Windows. So the first thing you need to do is just ensure that there currently isn't any known issues with your internet connection. So head on over to the provider that provides your internet and just make sure they don't have any network issues within your area. And once you've done that, you now need to also ensure that there currently are no issues with the Roblox servers. And to check this, all you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. And at the moment, as you can see on my screen, all systems are operational, which means there are currently no problems with the Roblox servers. So I can now rule out that for being the issue. However, if it does say an error on here for yourself when searching this, then that means there's currently an issue and you will need to wait until that issue is resolved and then try playing Roblox again. So once you've checked all that and if you're still having the issue, the next thing you need to do is try a different game within Roblox. It could be the game that you're trying to play that's causing this issue. If it's not the game, then you now need to make sure that your security software on your computer is not causing the issue. So if you're using Windows Firewall, you need to ensure that Roblox has access to the internet. And to check this, all you need to do is open up the start menu and you then need to type in Firewall. And you now need to select Windows Defender Firewall. You now need to click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall and you then need to press R and you now need to ensure that Roblox is in the list. And as you can see, I have Roblox here with two ticks. If you don't have two ticks, then you need to click on change settings and then tick the boxes. If Roblox is missing completely, then you need to click on change settings and then click on the allow another app button at the bottom and then find your Roblox installation and add it to the firewall. If you're using the web browser version of Roblox, then you need to find the web browser that you're using. So I'm using Firefox, so I need to press F. And you can see here that Firefox has a tick under private, which means that Firefox also has access to the internet. But if you're using a web browser and you're able to visit other web pages, then you know that is not an issue with the firewall anyway. So you can also temporarily turn off your security software if you're using a third party security and then test Roblox. But just keep in mind that you will not be protected from security threats while your security is turned off. So just be very careful if you do decide to do this and make sure you turn it back on straight away once you have tested Roblox. Another thing you can do if you're using a third party security software is put the security into a game mode or a passive mode or a silent mode if it has the option. So once you've done all that, the next thing to do if you're using the web browser version of Roblox is try a different web browser. It could actually be an issue with your current web browser. It could be a plugin or something like that that's causing the game to not work. It could even be a setting that you've changed within the web browser. So go ahead and try a different web browser and see if you still get the issue. If you're using the Roblox app version, then try your web browser and see if you can play Roblox through your web browser. If you're using the web browser version, then download Roblox using the Microsoft Store and play it through the app version and see if that works. I will pop links in the description below on how you can download and install Roblox for both versions, web browser and also the app version. So once you've done all that and if you're still having issues, the next thing you need to do if you're using the app version of Roblox is to right click on the start menu icon and then select settings. You now need to click onto apps and you then need to click in the search this list and type in Roblox. You now need to select Roblox and you then need to click on advanced options. You then need to scroll down and you now need to press terminate and you then need to click on reset and then reset again. Once you have reset Roblox, which will delete your app's data, go ahead and launch the app again and then sign into Roblox and see if that fixed the issue. If that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing you need to do 
is go ahead and restart your router. Obviously ensure that no one else is using the internet within your house because restarting the router will kick everyone off the internet. But if you're able to, go ahead and turn off your router and then turn it back on again after 30 seconds and then see if that resolves the issue. If that still didn't fix Roblox, then the next thing you need to do is just ensure that your account has not been banned. If your account has been banned in Roblox, then you will not be able to play the game and that could also be causing the error code 260. If your account's not banned, then the next thing I would say is try reinstalling Roblox and see if that helps resolve the issue. So if you're using the app version, just uninstall the game and then install it again. If you're using the web browser, then just remove the game from the web browser and then try playing it again. I will pop links in the description below, like I said, on how you can do all this. And if that still doesn't get you into the game, then the only other thing I would say is you have to unfortunately wait until a new update is released. That will hopefully resolve the issue on your computer. If you do have access to another computer or device, then you could try signing into your account on that device and see if you still get the same problem. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. If you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then hit that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.